Well, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Yuvin Denny, my official number is C1 and Q18075 In this video, I want to explain the article about the influence of study attitudes and study habits on the academic performance of the students Introduction Background of the study Students' academic performance embodies an essential part of the constellation of factors determinant of student success. One of the significant factors in assessing academic performance is through their study habits and attitude. Also, it plays a very significant role in education, primarily as a concrete to assess the student's learning process. Through this study, the researcher aims to contribute to psychology and education by discovering and assessing the influence of study attitudes and study habits on a senior high school student academic performance. Next, research questions. The first one is what is the profile of the responding study attitudes? How can the responding study habits? What is the level of academic performance of the students? And do the responding study attitudes and study habits significantly affect the academic performance? Next, in literature review. Theoretical review. The first one is the study habits of the Filipino youth. One of the essential parts in the field of education is learning how to study. This holds most especially for the student no matter where they are or what program they are taking, whether they are enrolled in a top engineering school in the Philippines or a technical communication school somewhere in Manila, or even in the most advanced architecture university, their success would all depend on one thing equaled by Mapua 2016. The research mentioned above has shown how the relationship between study habits and attitudes with the student academic performance. In general, the related literature and studies gathered and present in the chapter show the various gaps between the variables which is the study habits, study attitude, and academic performance. Next, in study attitudes. An attitude could be defined as a dimension of personality reflect in the individual's behavior toward others and certain situations. It is placed concerning the individual level, making mentalities as a characteristic of the community by Angel by Angel Ace 2012. Next, in point three, study habits. Study habits are part of a student everyday life. It contributes significantly to the development of knowledge and perceptual capacities. This, char this characterizes a person's willingness to learn how far he wants to go and how much he wants to achieve. This all could be decided with the help of one study habits throughout life. Next, research method methodology. The first one is participants. Respondents of this study were the senior high school student in Catholic school in Bulacan, Philippines who were enrolled for the school year 2018 until 2019. The study analyzed the universal sampling approach since the senior high school respondents were far from noise and the other disturbance. The next point is, is instrument. The study utilized survey of study habits and attitudes developed by Holzman and Brown as a primary instrument that determined the respondents' study attitudes and study habits. The questionnaire has a cron match all variability coefficient of 86. It consists of 100 items with four scales, delay avoidance, work method, teacher approval, and education acceptance. Next procedure. The researcher secured permission by sending a, tran a transmittal letter to the office of the princi principal to achieve the study and obtain the general average of the learner's progress and achievement. To measure the student academic performance, the researcher for the respondent of the school year 2018 until 2006 and 19. The data collected become the basis of the presentation, analysis, and interpretation of the findings. Next, discussion. The study's main objective is to determine the study to study habits and senior high school student academic performance. Furthermore, the study investigates and the influence of study attitudes and study habits on their academic performance. Study attitudes and study habits is a massive determinant of academic performance of the students. Indicators 
For the example, an individual's perception of their learning method and their ability to cope with the classroom environment and the teacher personality. This study utilized the descriptive cor- correlation research method to describe the respondents' profile in terms of their study attitudes and study habits and the level of their academic performance. Furthermore, the probability in the null hypothesis is true about the respondents' study attitudes with moderate level of teacher approval and education acceptance and the respondents' study habits with average level of delay, avoidance, and worse method. Next conclusion. It can be stated it can be stated that students can still improve their study attitudes or study habits, especially in terms of teacher approval, education acceptance, delay avoidance, and work method. They are they are essential in very in every student learning, implying recognizing the com- the importance of student habits, study habits, and study attitudes to be more efficient in learning. Also, understanding and building up such habits can vastly enhance a student's way of learning method. I think enough for me. I'm sorry if there are any mistakes. And I close by saying, Wabilahi Taufiq wal Hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.